Do you think do you think Samoans of Pacific Islanders in the US are so much more different to the ones here in Australia or in New Zealand? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. I reckon. You know those videos I've been sending you on TikTok mm, that mm, I've seen? Mm. Of course I'm Polly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course I'm some own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course I'm of course a Tongan. Tongan. Yeah, 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 of course I'm a Tongan. We did this. Yeah, we, we live in a house full of yeah. 20 people, whatever it is. But yeah, I, I think... They're very different, eh? Yeah, very different, man. Oh, oh. Do you think they're just Americanized different? Yeah, I reckon that's what it is, man. Yeah? They've just become American and they're like, I'm American, but I'm Tongan background. Yeah, but I think, I think it's because America has like a lot more diversity like when so. you're australia you're just australian everyone ends up becoming australian you know mm. but if you're in america you got like the gangster side of america you got the countryside of america and all that kind of stuff and they're raised different to how we're raised and new zealand and australia are really yeah, really yeah, similar. similar do you think it's because the ones that we're watching their generation is like three generations in or four generations in or do you think they're like our generation they're like our generation. Yeah? Yeah. They're so different though. Oh, yeah, a lot different, man. I, I can say for Filipinos, <laughs> Filipino-Americans to Australian, a lot different. A lot different. You know, I'm at the generation where my parents were the ones that migrated here. Yeah. Them, yeah. they're four generations in. Oh, in the Philippines. So, yeah, the Filipino. No, in America. Yeah, the Filipino-Americans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah four, yeah. five, maybe yeah. six generations in. Yeah. So they've been watered down crazy. They're mm. American, look Filipino, but they are American. Full pop American. American, yeah, yeah. I, I don't even think their parents could speak the Galog or mm. native language anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I think they're different because they're just being watered down. I don't know if it's the same with the Islanders. What do you think? Ah, uh, yeah. But I, I think they're it's just so different from the way they... Yeah, the way they interact, the yeah. way they dress, the way they the do way they're things. They're so things. much different. They look at us as we're weird, but then we look at them no, as they're weird. Well, I think from, you know, being around you and other people, mm. I think you guys are a lot more Pacific Islander than they are. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, they can just, oh, yeah, I'm Samoan. Yeah, you know, yeah, then, yeah, yeah. maybe they say, I don't mean they're yeah, that was, guy, but yeah, like, was, almost like plastic to an extent. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, And then yeah, you're yeah. just like, mm. Yeah, it sounds But you guys weird. actually speak to each other still in Tongan and yeah, Samoan, yeah. and it, 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 that culture even goes into, uh, like, to the non-Islander friends, and we pick up on it. But mm. I don't think it's like that over there. I think they, but we never oohs, know, though. We only ever see it. On we socials? only see it like from socials Am I and just stuff. Just being a judgmental guy, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's just because the content. But in saying that, though, they're exposed to a lot of stuff a lot quicker than what we are here. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. like social media and all that starts over there, and then by the time we get it, it's it's like they've already been doing uh, it for I X think amount of time. Kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I honestly reckon. Yeah. 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 But they they think we're we. <laughs> You reckon, or do you think we're more? No, nah, think they think we're. Do you think, they think, think that we're weird, they think we're more fresh? I, I think they, they think hmm. that American Tongans are better than Australian Tongans. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course they are. Like American, us, that, uh, bro, m most Americans just think that they're better than better than everyone else. Of. Yeah, yeah. Like us, like if I if I'm to think about like a New Zealander, like a, a like a Kiwi Tongan, if you want to call it that, or an Australian Tongan, I feel we can relate in a lot of senses yeah, yeah, yeah. of course and we get along a lot more yeah but yeah america is just different <laughs> yeah i saw that uh, story of yours of the tweet the screenshot yeah of you know i will die for my kids yeah how about you live for your kids or that's how it was yeah yeah i die for my kids but how about you actually live for your kids go go work out eat better eat healthy Drink water, you know, all get the more active all the, get more active. Yeah, live for your kids because we need you longer, and we'd love for you to be around for longer. years and years and years, and yeah. not have health conditions when you're in your fifties mm. or even earlier. Even when you like in your twenties, yeah. like yeah. me, late twenties. Um, <clears throat> and when I saw that, it resonated to me because I've always thought that in my head. I've mm. always thought, you know, people always say, oh, "I would die, I would do anything for my kids." Yeah. But how about you walk in the morning mm -hmm. or blah, blah blah, not get unhealthy because your lifestyle is not that great. Yeah. And if you would die for me, like, I got people in my neighborhood and I see, you know, because my neighborhood, I see what they do and shit. Um, drinking till the early morning, mm. uh, eating. I'm not judging, I've done it before and everything, but I feel like it's a constant for them, you know, yeah, that lifestyle. Yeah. And I'm sure if you're in that, they'll take it from that neighborhood to another neighborhood, yeah. just a constant thing. Maybe because I'm at a different place in my life now. Yeah. 
And I'm not judging. It's just... It's hard to comprehend, basically. It's hard, like... It's it poison. Remember how last week I drank for a few and then I got COVID. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like I think my body got rattled and my immune system dropped from the lack yeah. of sleep and the drinking. I got COVID. It was not, it's not healthy. No. I, like it, re- it resonates with me because I've, I'm basically, like I feel like my last six months since I started and actually being active and all that and being able to go and have fun with my kids, take them yeah, to yeah, the yeah. park. You know, like if they ever want to play dad, you know, like, oh, I'm never too tired, this and that. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's like, if there was, if, if I was to say there was something that I had like a really big dream of, I just really wish that um, us Islanders did more for our health mm. because they never do. Like, I know there's like that little minute percentage that are on the same thing that I am, that train, eat well, try to eat well and stuff. And basically like show their kids that you know there's a bit more than mega rings and all that stuff but like um for, from going from being as big as i was and being on all the meds and just using those little band-aids to kind of get through the day to actually see like my meds kind of coming back and yeah. all that and like um and the meds slowly slowly weaning off to the point where the doctor's like man you're on track to be med free if you keep this up you're med free and i'm just like Really? Like, that's all it really took. It really took just a few months of, like, locking in. (laughs) Yeah, being normal. Being normal. Yeah, I mean, just living a bit healthier life. No, that's like, yeah, like, like what what the health foundation tells you. Look, mate, this is what you need to do to be healthy. And I've, like, been on this, like, little, um, like, a bit of a streak since um, Boxing Day where I was, like, thinking to me, I was like, man, I've done half an hour of something, like, every single day, whether it be boxing, walking, whatever. Like, but even before then, I was still doing it. But like, I'll have a day off here and there. But then I just thought, I'm literally just doing what the yeah. Heart Foundation is telling you to do, literally. But back to the tweet, the whole live for your, um, you'll die for your kids, but why not live for them? I just um, really wish that, yeah, if you're thinking about losing weight, getting fit, it's the best thing that yeah. I've ever done, literally. Like yeah. now I'm not waking up in the middle of the night, short of breath and stuff like that. Walking tying upstairs. your shoelaces, you're bloody, you're out of breath tying your shoelaces. When you walk into places with people, you're trying not to breathe. Just confidence. <laughs> yeah, confidence. Uh, confidence less too. Embarrassment. Yeah, man. And it's, it's like. It's, it's never too late. You just start day by day. It's brick by brick. Literally, man. A walk, a, a five minute walk today is going to end up being a 10 kilometer walk. Because yeah. it's a cultural thing. And we've talked about this before. And I just wish, you know. If you're at that age or you're in, you, you saw your parents, they, they never went to the gym, mm. they never trained or they never done anything. You yeah. can be that start. Yeah. Uh, so that your kids now, if, especially if you're around our age, 22, yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, you can be that change within your family and your circle, especially I'm sure people are trying to follow your lead now. Yeah. Uh, be, that, be that guy that, that starts it in your family and that cultural shift because yeah it's a cycle and we you know when you look at people in your family and they never really took care of themselves or the way they ate yeah. you do the exact same and thing. it catches up but it catches it'll up. catch up and you mm-hmm. don't want to regret that's the main thing you don't want to regret so it'll be good that you be the start you get yourself fit get in shape um live a bit better lifestyle mm. um so the pacific islander community around you and the filipino community won't eat as much adobo won't eat as much lechon and hungi and yeah, guaca <laughs> you yeah. know, like and overeat because you don't want those regrets and health is wealth man yeah. literally literally it's a, it's a thing that r- rings through my mind every single day yeah health every is wealth day. health every is wealth